If anything, um, I mean, maybe if they both come back is because they need the money. But, I mean, whatever, bring it on. I could, yeah. I could give two shits if they come back or they don't. Do I want to reconcile being friends with them again? No. They're both evil people. And I really don't want anything to do with evil people. I don't. But if I have to give them a piece of my mind, I will. They're just nasty people. I like the stuff that Caroline said about me. It's like, for what? I've never done anything to her. You know, and like, you know, her jumping on the bandwagon with my family, trying to be all buddy-buddy with them. And it's just like, what are you trying to prove? And now she doesn't even talk to them anymore. So it's just like, she just did it for the show. And it's, you know, she's just, you know, money-hungry bitch. Can I say bitch? <laughs> she's a money hungry bitch because that's what she was just doing it for the show and you know god bless her and you know she did tell people that I was going to write a memoir and which ended up being a New York Times bestseller thank you Caroline and um but like how did she even know I was going to write a memoir I never knew I was going to write a memoir ever like a fan brought that up to me like at a at a I was at an appearance and they're like do you know do you remember when Caroline said this and it opened up like my eyes? I'm like, oh my God, you're right. Like she like predicted my future. And it's like, how did she predict my future? Like maybe because her hand was in the pot of trying to take Joe and I down, which to me is pretty sad. But you know what? I, you know, everyone says what comes around goes around. And um, you know what? You know, maybe she wants to come back because she needs the money. So I don't know. Something must be going on. When you trash your own family, you'll do anything for money. And that's the thing, like if she, you, don't, you can't even make up with your own family and fighting. So of course she's gonna trash me, like I, and I, like I care, like she's nothing to me. I always respected her because she was Dina's sister. Now I have no respect for her. And she said the nastiest things about me. And it's like, I don't, you know, and she acts all high and mighty. She's, she's low and mighty. She's not, you know, what's, no, what's another thing? She's not even high. She's like, she acts like she's a, she's so not. That's why she has to act like that. Like she's, you know, and she's so not. I'm not shocked that Siggy quit. And you know, it's, you know, it's not for everyone. You know, it's like, you know, it's, you know, you gotta have thick skin in this business. I really don't care. I really don't care. It's like, I dare, I dare her to come back. It just made me a stronger person. And um, now she's hanging out with, my best friend's husband. It's pretty, you know, it's sad. It's like crazy how like life works. Small circles. Yeah, and it's my husband's best friend. Yeah, That's she's hanging out with my husband's best friend. She's like always trying to stay in the mix, like with around like what's going on with me and wanting to know what's going on. Well, it makes sense, and that's when you have rumors about you rejoining the show. If you stay close enough, you know, mm -hmm. it gets put out. And who knows if she even put that out there in the press. Oh, I, uh, hello, of course she did. Hello.